So in today's video, we want to look at solving linear ODEs. So these are uh, first order and they're going to be of the form y prime plus some function of x times y plus uh, q of x equals zero. Now the method that we're going to use is the method of finding an integrating factor. The integrating factor is the function which is given by the exponential of the integral of p of x. So notice that there's a one in front of the y prime. So if there's not, if there's another function, you have to divide through. And then the coefficient function in front of the y has to be integrated and then exponentiated. And that will be the function that we are then going to multiply everything through. And that will be very useful in the uh, process of finding the solution. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just start with an example. So determine whether the following ODE is linear and if it is, solve it. So what is a linear ODE? A linear ODE is one in which the highest power of Y is one. In this case, uh, that, that happens to be the case since uh, this is to the power of one, there'll be a Y to the zero here and there's a Y prime. So if we solve this, let's put it in the usual form, we'll have y prime minus y minus x equals zero. In that case, we find that the integrating factor is given by the exponential of the integral of minus one dx. And so we end up with minus x uh, in this, as this integrating factor. Now, the reason why we don't have a constant is because we're going to multiply through and then if we add an additional constant, we could just divide that out. So if we now multiply everything by e to the minus x, we'll have e to the minus x y prime minus y e to the minus x minus x e to the minus x equals zero. Now, this is convenient because we notice that this term here is simply e to the minus x times y differentiated and then we'll just take this x e to the minus x over. So now with this we can integrate both sides and we'll have e to the minus x y is x well the integral of x e to the minus x dx and we'll have y is e to the x times the integral of x e to the minus x dx. Now to calculate this, we of course need to use integration by parts. So what we'll do is set x equal, or u equal to x, du is then dx, dv is e to the minus x dx, and v is minus e to the minus x then integration by parts will tell us, well, we get uv minus the integral v du. So we'll have uv, that's minus x e to the minus x, minus the integral of v, which will then give us a plus e to the minus x uh, du. Now, just bear in mind that we then need to multiply everything by e to the x, but if we integrate e to the minus x here, then that will give us a minus e to the minus x. So this expression here becomes minus x e to the minus x minus e to the minus x. And then of course we'll have a constant. Now we then multiply through by e to the x and that will give us our final answer. So the final answer will be minus x minus one uh, plus c e to the minus x. Ah, e to the x, sorry. Okay. So, next example, determine whether the following ODE is linear and determine the order. So, the order is the number of derivatives that are occurring in the equation. The order here is 2. So, let's just make a note that the order is 2. And it is linear because, again, the highest power of y that occurs is uh, 1. If I had something like uh, y prime minus seven y plus two x cubed 
plus let's say y squared then this would be first order but it would not be linear because there's a y squared term here the definition of linear is the way it is because those ODEs for which the highest power of y occurring in the equation is 1, uh, the solutions to those form a vector space. So we can use linear algebra. That's the, that's the intuition for why that's the name, or the justification at least. So let's look at a further example, determine whether the following ODE is linear. If it is, solve it. So at the moment, there's a 1 over y here, but what I can do is I can write this, I can multiply everything through by y, and I'd get a y prime is xy minus y, and I could even do a little better and write a y prime minus xy plus y is 0, and this can be further simplified to y prime plus y times 1 minus x equals 0. Now the integrating factor here is going to be r of x equals exponential integral 1 minus x dx and the integral of 1 minus x is just x minus 1 half x squared and from this what we see is, I'll write this as x minus 1 half x squared y prime plus y 1 minus x e to the x minus 1 half x squared uh, equals 0. Now even though this looks uh, rather complicated, the point is that we could write this as just e to the x minus 1 half x squared uh, y primed is 0. Now we can integrate both sides uh, and get e to the x minus 1 half x squared times y is some constant. And now it's clear that y is just the exponential, well, let's put that constant out the front. So we'll have c times an exponential 1 half x squared minus x. If you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. That really supports the growth of the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. The notes for this video are to be found in the video description and they're also for the Math 1023 course that I just finished tutoring at the University of Sydney.